Hi, today I'll show you how to turn any static HTML template into a full feature website using inline CMS. Let's imagine that now we have the following design and we're going to create a website using this design. This is a typical HTML template. It wasn't created specially for a certain CMS. This template contains multiple layouts for different page types that we may use. So let's get started. First, we need to install the inline CMS. Open the folder of our site and copy the inline CMS files to it. Now, open the site in the browser and run the setup wizard. We should select an interface language and check if our server meets the technical requirements. Then, we should specify the title and description of our site. Enter the email and password for the administrator. Now the wizard is requesting us to provide a design template for our site. We'll copy our template files to the folder theme in the inline CMS and repeat scanning. We can see a list of all the template layouts now. Let's say that we want to use the home page layout and layout with the right sidebar. Installation is now complete and we are proceeding to the layout editor. Now we have the layout of the home page opened and we should mark the editable regions and navigation in it. Let's start by clicking on the logo and selecting Add Region. The region creation window appears. Choose the same on all pages in the field region content because we want to have the same logo throughout the site. Also, check the option to find this region and all the other layouts automatically. Now, let's add this large header and tagline. Next, we add the main body of the page. Click the selected area one more time to expand the selection. We'll change this region type on the content area. It will allow adding other additional elements here, besides the text. We also add the sidebar in the same way. Below, we see the list of several repeating items. Let's select and add it. For that list, we select Collection of Repeatable Items in the Region Type field. Finally, let's add the remaining regions in the footer of the page. The last step is adding the menu. Select any item of the main menu and choose Add Menu. We'll give the name to this menu and choose which one of its items is active in the current layout. Everything is ready now. Let's press Save Layout to continue. The next layout is opening. We can see that all regions were marked automatically here, as we have already picked them in the previous layout. Let's make a minor change. Assume that we don't need such a large footer in this layout. So remove a region from it, and then select the entire block and delete it. Now, we only need to define the main menu. After saving the layout, we see the home page of our new website. It's opened in the edit mode now, and we can see a small floating window. This window is the only interface of the inline CMS because it has no back-end administrator panels. We can see all the regions created and may start editing their content. Let's change some text. The editing process takes place right on the page, so you can see the final result of your emendations immediately. When the desired changes have been made, you may click Save and Exit to exit the edit mode. All changes remained in place. That's cool, isn't it? Now, we'll add a couple of other pages on our site. Just add a question mark in the word edit to the address of any page to return to the editing mode. We'll go to the Pages tab and click the plus button to create a new page. Type the name and URL of the page and choose the right sidebar as the layout. Page is created and looking at it we see that the logo and footer are the same as we have made these regions global. Let's change the title of this page and remove the extra text. We'll add a photo gallery to this page instead of text. 
Simply drag and drop the element Gallery on the page and upload the desired images. And also, let's say that we want to have corners of images rounded. The last thing we'll do here is add this page to the main menu. It may be done using the Menus tab. Save the changes and let's see how the site looks for visitors now. The gallery shows uploaded photos and menu switches the pages. Let's go back to the editor and add another page. It will be a page with the contact information and feedback form. Let's add it to the menu and remove everything unnecessary. Let's add the contact form and create fields in it. Set some fields as required and change settings of the form. Form is ready. Now we'll add the map to the right column of the page and specify the displayed address in the map settings. That's all. Our simple site is ready. We spent about 10 minutes to create it without writing a single line of code. Now it's time to try inline CMS by yourself and discover many other great features. Thank you for watching.